Welcome to another episode of the Tar Pack Podcast. Loaded episode this week as the ACC tournament has begun. But first, we're going to start with last Saturday's final regular season games, starting with UNC at Duke. UNC came out with a huge 84-79 win over Duke this past Saturday, where they looked uh, very, very good in a win. Uh, R.J. Davis had maybe his low of the season with only nine points, but Cormac Ryan had an incredible outing, 31 points on the night. Uh, he was absolutely incredible. He hit six threes, nine for ten from free throw, and it was a great performance from Cormac. We got out to a hot start overall, just showing really more effort than Duke did. Uh, it was a great performance, and I'm proud of the team, and looking forward to our first in- ACC tournament game tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah, we simply outplayed Duke, won both games. Uh, Kryl uh should be suspended against NC State tomorrow. That would be insane. Uh, but anyways, no, Carolina got the dub against uh, number nine Duke. Uh, great win for the team. You know, um, I just want to say, um, I wish he would be suspended tomorrow, but he definitely ain't. I just know he ain't. But, I mean, I wish he would so it could help our chances to get to the next round of the ACC tournament. As I'm already spoiling with for you, we already won the first two games of the ACC tournament. He's going to get away with uh, that trip for absolutely nothing. Now getting to um, last Saturday, you know, just don't want to think about it, honestly. Just 73-81 pit win. Um, DJ Burns had another not that good of a game. Um, four for 11. Nine points. McCon- O'Connell, three for seven, one for four from three. I mean, he's just a playmaker, really, for our team. And Jaden Taylor, I don't know. I'm just going to do a spoiler for the ACC tournament. He has been the best player in the ACC tournament. He was the best player against Pitt. This man has just been going crazy. And then DJ Horn, um, one for three. I mean, he just didn't really put up that many shots. Really didn't do that much. Casey Morsell, three for nine. Casual Casey Morsell going over for two. And yeah, eight points. And then Diaria, nine rebounds, one for two. Ben Milbrook, three for four. And Ernest Ross actually got minutes. He had 11 minutes in this game. And yeah, shout out Brian, shout out Brian Pass, T4, 1 for 2, 5 points. And now going to the first round of the ACC tournament yesterday, 94-85. Obviously, Diari had 2 point, I meant 4 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. DJ Burns, 4 for 5, 12 points, a good game. O'Connell, really doing good. In the tournament so far, 5 for 9, 1 for 3, 16 points. Jaden Taylor, another great game, 6 for 12, 2 for 7 from 3. And yes, Casey Morseau, the most points on the team. Yes, he did get 13 free throws and made all 13. 25 points, 5 for 12, 2 for 7 from 3. And then 33 for, thir- 33 for 40 from free throw. We believe it was really fouling in that game. Pack fans cannot complain about uh, in UNC getting foul calls ever again. We really weren't even complaining about it now, and then he just brought it up for no reason. But yeah, 40, 33, 42, to they, 11 on free throws. Yeah, they call fouls. If it's a foul, it's a foul. I don't know what your argument is here. I literally said nothing. I'm just talking about the game, so you can stop talking. And now going to the next game. Um, NC State versus Syracuse. Oh, um, um. NC State versus Syracuse. Sorry about that. Um, the Aria two for seven, four for four from free throw, eight point. Mr. Wild shots. Um, DJ Burns had a good game today, seven for 12, 15 point. And then O'Connell, another very good game, four for six, three for three from three pointer. He's been really doing good this whole tournament. 16 points. Jaden Taylor had been insane this whole tournament. 6 for 12, 3 for 7 from 3, 18 points. Casey Morsell had a pretty bad game today. 2 for 9, 0 for 4 from 3, 6 points. Ben Middlebrook, 1 for 5. 
he really, if we would have lost this game, it would have been because of him selling. He was really not doing good. Then DJ Horn off the bench. 6 for 13, 1 for 3 from 3, 16 points. Obviously, he just came back from an injury, so it makes sense. He's on the bench. He's getting warm. Hopefully, that tournament will start going well, and hopefully, we'll keep doing well for the tournament. Hopefully, we can beat Duke tomorrow night. Right here, beat Duke tomorrow night, 7 o'clock on ESPN. You know, I have faith in our team, but we can win it. We've been on a hot streak so far, going out on it. And, yeah, that's all for NC State basketball. Going back to Florida State versus North Carolina preview tomorrow. Yep, previewing UNC versus Florida State's game tomorrow. First game of the ACC tournament for North Carolina. Florida State came out with a 10-point win against Virginia Tech yesterday. Or today, I should say. But um, Florida State is a team that has given Carolina a little bit of trouble this year with their length. We have won both meetings so far, but I don't know. I wouldn't count out this Florida State team, to be honest. Uh, coming off the Duke win, I think Carolina is uh, – I think they'll be ready to play. Uh, I think they'll win the game, but I think it might be closer than some people think. But, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of the Tar Pack Podcast. We will see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the basketball. Go Heels. Go Pack.